Some members of the civil society organization in Ocean State have threatened to continue to demand justice for innocent residents that have been unjustly killed in the state by police officers. The group vowed to mobilize youths to begin another round of protest if extrajudicial killings continue in the state. The group gave the threat in Oshogbo during a protest staged by some youths over the death of Abiola Olamide. He is alleged to have been killed by a police officer on Sunday night at about half past 12 in front of his residence. The group blocked all motor routes at the newly constructed Olaya flyover in the capital city, preventing human and vehicular movements. They ventilated their grievances and demanded justice over the death of Olamide. We put it on record that those two young men, Matthew and, um, and Abiola, they were never armed robbers. Yes. One of them has a shop right at Olaya here. Yes. They are innocent citizens of this country whose house were buggled by police officers and extrajudicial streets. Some months ago, they killed a bar operator along Okeoniti. Sometimes ago, they killed Prince Saeed Olabomi of Ragwichi. Sometimes ago, three young boys were shot on their way to the correctional center in Malaysia. Police cannot just go inside somebody's house, even if it's uh, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. There is no business. But upon information that these are the people disturbing the community. And four, five days ago, the community was disturbed. And the same community came to report. We responded. And it was behind the house, an isolated house behind the house. And those people ran into the bush. We showed that the bush was right inside the, the I, mean, I mean, behind the house, bush and river. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.